they are with me live tonight. Sam and Nia, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate this. Hi, thank you for having us on. Yeah. Okay, so first question is, how did this not split you up? And either one of you can answer. How did this not split us up? Uh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's the short answer. I mean, it it almost did, but there's a lot a lot to consider with our and our repentance. history and yeah, there was a lot, there was a lot that went into it, but we held on and with with Jesus, we made it through. I'm seeing a sign behind you. It says, "So many of my smiles begin with you." Um, do you kind of have to give yourself affirmations every day? Because you know, a lot of people will say, "Once trust is broken, it's really, really hard to ever have it um, the same way again." Yeah, it is hard to have it the same way again. But really, I did. I didn't have it in the first place. Speaking from you know someone who was betrayed, and really learning that I, I can't put my trust in another human has been a, a huge lesson for me. I, I really need to be able to put my trust in something or someone bigger than my husband, because whether he's betraying me or doing anything else, humans are gonna let other humans down. And I'm, I'm thankful that I, I have faith in someone bigger than my husband. I'm trying mm -hmm. to wrap my head around that. You, you have faith in God um, and I'm looking at both of you and, and maybe imagining you both have your, your faith in God, but you still have to have that bond. So Sam, how do you, how do you have that bond with your wife if she's just said what she said, which is she can't trust you. She's got to trust God instead. I'm sorry, what was the question? How do you have what? With yeah, how do you how do you keep that bond with Nia um, when she just said, you know, you can't trust humans. I can't trust him. I was betrayed. I've got to trust something bigger. I've got to trust God. At some point, you got to really, you know, have a bond with each other, too. Well, yeah, of course. But um, when we when the uh, hack happened and I exposed everything I was to Nia, <clears throat> we needed both both of us needed to rely on something bigger than each other because I no longer had Nia, she no longer had me. Um, however, I did try to make myself as available to her as possible, but I did not deserve to have her anymore. However, she still deserved her husband. Um, but during that time, it was the first time of our adult life basically that we didn't have the biggest support in our life anymore. Mm -hmm. And so both of us chased God and developed a relationship when that was more solid than ever. And when that happens, you, the bond, you meet back at Jesus. Mm -hmm. Like the, the found, that's what is mm -hmm. beautiful about Jesus and, and the word of God, it brings people together. And so that's basically where we met back up. And, um, our bond of course is very still romantic, intimate now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we just have we have to give credit to the Lord because because of him, Nia made the choice not to divorce me because of him. I had true repentance and I knew how ugly my sin was and I turned away from them. Nia saw that repentance and she was able to trust me again. Man, that's big because not a lot of people can do that. Um, so, Sam, I'm curious about you know, getting over the, the awfulness of the, the hack and the, the revelation and then what happened between you and, and Nia. Um, that would have been a massive hurdle, right? Like a huge mountain to climb in your life. And then here we are, you know, 20 years later and Netflix comes calling. I'm curious about your decision to take part in the documentary because like all of a sudden the can of worms is, is sort of slightly open in a different way again. Yeah, just like I was concealing secrets from Nia during the first several years of our marriage, it ate away at me and it caused division in our marriage, it caused suspicions on her part, it caused me to keep weaving this web of lies, and what they say is you're, you're as sick as your secrets. And so I had lied to our viewers, our channel, which we saw as our ministry to show people what it looks like for a family to live for the Lord, and how to raise children for the Lord. And I lied to all of them, and that ate away at me for year after year after year, just in the same way it did, keeping lies from um, Nia. And the Bible was clear that God would not be mocked. And I just knew one day I would have to confront those lies publicly, just the same way I told those lies publicly. I had just been looking out for the way. And Netflix presented themselves, and they made it clear that we would I would allow be allowed to confess those lies. That's why they let me watch that video on the iPad and that our redemption story would come through. And if our redemption story can come through, of course I'm going to share it. It's clear the Bible wants us to do that. Have you been redeemed? Speak out. That's what the Bible says. It was our opportunity to speak out. Thank you for watching.
Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.